Welcome to this video. In this video and the next video, we are going to explain how we could perform shell to solid submodeling analysis in Abacus software. In this video, we model this tube as a shell which is fixed in one side and a concentrated moment is applied to the other side. In the next video, we will model the elbow part of this tube as a solid, which is the submodel of the first global model. We start modeling of this tube as a shell. Please notice that because of the symmetry, we only model one half of the tube and apply symmetric boundary condition to it. We create the elbow part as a shell part, which is three-dimensional and deformable, and we use shell and sweep feature of the software for creating the shell in one step. At first, we should draw the path of the sweep, which contains two straight lines. So we create two straight lines and also contains a fillet between these two lines. The radius of the fillet is the radius of the center of the elbow which is 16 mm and the longer straight side is 100 mm and the shorter straight side is 15 mm. After finishing the path of the sweep, we should draw the cross section which is a semicircle. Due to the symmetry of the tube, we draw only one half of the tube and use symmetric boundary condition. So we draw the section as a semicircle. The radius of the semicircle is 10.5 which is the radius of the mid surface of the shell. This is the one half of the elbow part, which we have drawn it as a shell. Now we should define a material for it. We use linear elastic property of the steel here in megapascal. We create a section which is shell and homogeneous and enter the thickness of the shell in this box. And also assign the material to all of the segments of the shell and enter the part as an instance in the assembly and create a static general step. Before going to the load module, we should in interaction module couple one side of the part with a reference point as rigid body constraint. Because we want to apply concentrated moment to one side of the part, we need a rigid face here. We couple this face by a reference point and by rigid body constraint and apply the moment to the reference point. We use tools and reference point and create a reference point for this side and using rigid body constraint we tie the edge of the shell with the reference point. Now we go to the load module. At first we should fix one side of the elbow. For fixing this side, we should consider that rotation of the shell is also important and we should use a caster. Then we use symmetric boundary condition because we draw one half of the model due to symmetry. For all of these edges, 
we should apply symmetry with Z axis. Then we create a load which is a concentrated moment and apply it to the reference point. The moment is around the third direction. Now we can go to the mesh module and we use a structured and quadrilateral mesh for the shell and also we assign element type to the part. The solution is standard and we use shell elements for this part. And then we can seat the part. And mesh the part. In the next step, we we'll create a job with the name elbow and submit it. By going to the visualization module, we can see the result of our simulation. And if we want to show the effect of the moment, we can scale the formation because the moment is very small we should use very large scale to see the deformation of the elbow please watch our next video for submodeling of the elbow part as a solid structure i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if this video has helped you out please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe.